it's we're cheap. doing the shady one we're doing the shady we're not one. even doing skate sunday Ooh, i need a little teacup yeah <laughs> 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 i need a really tiny teacup oh my god ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no 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 swipe or no swiping you think you could figure out the hair to, to headphone ratio like me <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone and welcome i'm roses and i'm shorts and this is roses, roses and shorts. shorts we just thought it was more of an original name how you been first of all do you know relaxing handling some things going through some things doing some things doing some things no no nobody's fucking business how about that been on break i've been clocked out i was on vacation that's where i was i was using my pto don't worry about how i use my pto <laughs> because it was my pto exactly <laughs> so thanks for coming back to skate sunday we missed you welcome how you been did you did you miss us did you miss us did you want us to come back and you're like there's nothing else to listen to there's no other roller skating podcast there's nothing else to listen to about roller skating i know where to send you if you like stalin jokes oh shit i got a recommendation there's room for everybody on this platform absolutely in mm-hmm. any platform everybody has space for success what we're doing here is so special to us and we hope it's special to you put in a lot of effort into it love and Time, makeup light bill blood sweat tears creative energy <laughs> and we hope you love it as much as we love it thank y'all for supporting us and watching and listening and telling your friends and we hope you enjoy the show so notice anything oh did you notice something different got a custom neon in the back oh yeah Ooh, I love it. Cost me thousands. Fucking holy shit. Holy bitch. shit balls. Holy shit, man. Our holy shit. shit. Fucking oh, great. fucking gr- It looks so good. It's so good when you just like love and put love and care into shit, you know? Uh, imagine actually being passionate about something you're working on. Uh, having a purpose, a goal. So beautiful. Bitches, we got upgrades. Do you see? Do you see the changes? Do you see? Do you appreciate okay, it? Okay. Do you see? Do you like it? Tell us what you think. Mm-hmm. And tell us if you like, no, you know what should be there? My art, bitch. And then, like, send me a picture. And then, if you want to hear, it, it, it could be here. Maybe. We don't know. It could be here. If it's cute. My art is here. My art is there right now. Oh, <gasps> Shorty, you got to tell them about the t shirt you made. I got a new t shirt. So, this is my shirt design, the newest one. I still have the old one available, too. Um, I don't have a website or anything because I do make them as I go. Hand screen printed by me. Hand dyed. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. My design. And they're cute as fuck. They cute. They comfy. I got them in all sorts of colors. And I can also print them on any size. Or if you see something on Amazon and you want to send it to me, I can print it on it. No problem. Anything you want. It's for you. For you. Just DM me at Hey Shorty with three Y's and two underscores if you are interested. I'll post pictures. They look so beautiful, though. Like, for real, they look so beautiful. Thank you. So the drawing itself, um, I've had a, my head hit in derby. So sometimes when I do ramp skating, which is why I'm not doing it as much as I used to, I get really shaken up in my head. So I kind of drew a picture of what that feels like if you just land a trick too hard and you're just like seeing stars like i literally feel like my head separates from me and then it just like takes a minute to like come back but yeah where are you gear we've been going through a lot yeah it's been a lot we went through a lot if you know you know but if you don't do you want to (laughs) know sit down sit down sit down sit sit, 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 sit. it's a long one i want to talk about what what i've been doing well I was away. Yes. So during my break, I got a more comfortable dropping in. Okay. Yes. Your okay. drop-ins look so clean and nice. Thank you. And I'm so happy because that's a really big figure. And every time I get on top of the coping, I'm like, 
like it's i'm like i feel sick <laughs> i feel, I <laughs> I feel, feel sp- sick i feel sick i feel spinny i'm like <laughs> like literally i'm i'm freaking out so um to get over that fear is like it's it's cool i've been in i've been skiing i've been skiing a lot you have. I have i've been skiing a lot and um I've been learning a lot and trusting my body and like listening to it, kind of taking a lot of the advice from this show, you know, and, and just like applying. Cause I too learn from, from my, from our own show. <laughs> like, but, um, yeah, the, them shits are so scary. So if there's anyone listening that's scared to drop in, and feels this way just know you're not alone because (laughs) i would love nothing more like i know i've successfully done them a few times but i'm still i still feel that fear of like i'm like "Mm -mm." (laughs) it's a scary thing to overcome and i still feel that like on new ramps ramps that i'm not comfortable with like every new drop in you're still gonna have that a little bit um maybe some people don't but i don't want to get hurt so I drop in when I'm ready. I make sure I always am able to pump up to the coping I'm trying to drop in on before I do. And that's how I know I'm ready. But yeah. personally, I just don't feel comfortable dropping in until I'm ready to pump it. So pump it. Then we're ready to go. And you shred. <laughs> all in all to say, we've been through a lot. It's been a lot. But thank for you me, for coming back. But, but like for me, for me, it's been a lot. For me, it's been a lot. Like for you, but yeah, for me. I have definitely missed the show a ton. Um, I miss baby. hanging out with you. Uh, I think that we were able to focus on things we needed to focus on. That that was important for me, at least. Yeah. Um, and to just kind of like rewatch the show and like talk to some close friends about it and you know see yeah. what other stuff comes out in the meantime there's people that missed us hold on told me who said shout them out who missed us our girl julie julie very, very, yes. very upset you're right i'm sorry we'll do it again but i'm sorry <laughs> we're gonna do it we're again. gonna do it again i'm sorry that's the thing about but Yamaza, every, okay every time i come back i'm bigger and better I, we can't hold it in. i, I can't I feel I can't. Like it's too hard how do we here's address the this thing because you're the filmmaker here yeah and i'm calling you that because that's what you deserve to be called Ooh. but you're someone who is very passionate about what we're creating yeah you're someone who I'm really thankful chose me to be as a partner in this. And you're someone who like is really involved with a lot of people that are noticeable in the skate community and have been nothing but kind to those people. I can't say the same for myself. (laughs) (laughs) So what happened was hurtful and I kind of felt hurt for you. I was hurt for myself a little bit, but I think I was able to detach myself a lot easier because you're not the one spending hours on this. Yeah. Like, I spend hours on this, but you're the one that, like, cuts it, makes us look good, makes it enjoyable for people to listen to, makes it relatable for new skaters, old, everybody in between. I made me cry. And, like, it's not about us. No. And it never has been. Mm-mm. Yeah. so if you want to disclose what happened at school or do you want me to i just want to do it but i want it to also be an open conversation as well like i want people to understand and see what i'm seeing and like tell me that i'm not crazy mm and why do I feel that way about a millionaire? <laughs> it's it's funny. It's scary. It's <laughs> terrifying. It's steamrolling. But just for people who don't know what's going on or maybe don't understand what's going on, 
Do you want to explain it a little bit? I open my phone and then I see the first thing I see on Instagram is this chilies and scoops uh, like at whatever you want to call it, like a logo come out. And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even say it. I just showed you. And what was my first reaction? Like there's space for everybody in this. In this no space. shade at all. No. Until like the similarity started clicking and it happened kind of quick. It was like a lazy attempt. And if you think that like that's what we're doing, that's a little bit offensive. <laughs> Yeah, if right. that's your interpretation of what we're doing, you have no idea how much effort goes into this. Mm-mm, none. How much love? Like, the love. <laughs> the love. You gotta love it. Like when Grace Jones met Lady Gaga, I didn't feel a soul. I didn't feel a soul there. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, I'm scared. Uh, put the light on. Oh, scary shorty's out. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like you know, there's where's the love? Where's the love for anything? I don't know. I'm mad. This is why I'm mad. You want to know why I'm mad? You want to know why Let's I'm mad? Get into it. You want to know what's really grinding my gears lately? I'm gonna tell you right now. All right. <laughs> Well, it's really grinding my gears is that they had the chance to do this forever. They could have put out such a dope moxie skate podcast. With any theme or aesthetic on earth. Any. Even just the moxie umbrella would be fucking... Uh, never mind. I don't want to give them ideas. How many roller skating podcasts were there when you did your research? There's about four that I know of, for sure, that I've seen in doing my research. All I did was type in like roller skating podcast. Mm -hmm. So there could be more. I don't know. But when I looked, I saw four. I gave them all listens. <laughs> and I'm like, how can I? Where's my space here? Like, how can I fit in here? But stand out and not copy and, you know, make it interesting. But you love. consciously yeah. made an effort to do research, make sure like nothing we were doing would even be interpreted as trying to copy, to replicate. We had no interest in doing that. And we also kind of like wanted to make sure we did something that was for the skate community. Yeah. This was like really special for us to try and be those people spreading a message that like we didn't have when Oof. we started skating. Hell yeah. Yeah. We don't even have a platform, but we're using the small amount of people that do watch us and do look up to us to be able to do something for them. Yeah. It's not about what we're doing. It's not about who's giving us money. It's not about who's doing something for us. It's about doing something for you. And it's really uh, interesting to see who just falls into that so many people have just been taken advantage of and so many people have gotten ahead taking advantage of people yeah. and it's not even you're not even trying to be discreet about it and it's such a like fuck you i understand our shows are nothing alike i don't feel the need to make jokes about stalin doesn't really apply to what the fuck we're talking about Ugh. but it, it like i said if you think what you're doing is like this good luck to you I'm really weirded out that people are eating it up. Oh. You know that no matter what you put out, even if it's a shitty clip, as long as the name Moxie is plastered all over it, it's going to get a following. Oh, yeah. No matter what. This is crazy. I'm scared. 
Is the FBI coming? <laughs> I know. I'm scared. I'm uh, watching. How- but I want to have an understanding too. Like maybe there's something I'm missing. <laughs> you know, like maybe, maybe you really you're are called something scoops. that I'm not I don't noticing. Know. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe they really do call you scoops. Maybe I, they call you scoops, so we don't know. know. We're just like, News yo, to me. we're like, yo, we scoops. The fuck, <laughs> we scoop it out here. How you gonna be scooping out here when we scoop it out here? But for real though, like, it could be that. Yeah, but I also don't want it to be like, oh, we're inviting you on the show so you can make it right. Maybe you deserve an opportunity to clear the air. I have no idea. It's okay. Where to the intentions me. lie, I right. don't know you, but I do see what the effects are. And you keep doing it to people. So come on our show. We'd love to have yeah, you. Yeah, we'd love to have you. It'd be so fun. We're scoops, okay? We're scoops. Uh, you ain't got the scoop on you were nothing. You, we, scoop on what? Well, it wasn't just that. Like, there was drama for me when we first started. That too, yeah. You know, and I don't ha- know if it was de- deliberate or not. But I did an advertisement for Foxy Skates. It's like it was an hour of my time to take pictures with a skate brand. I had shove all over social media dragging Foxy Skates because they stole Pigeon's logo. Like it was just so out of nowhere that you came after this brand. And then because of that, people close to us we're eating it up and resharing it and sharing their opinions about it, knowing full well that like me and a group of a lot of skaters down here just did a lot of advertisements for them. And it's just like you had to use your following to come after like us. If you're willing to drag someone you skate with, you meet with, you hug hello and like come after the way they're making their month. Your actions with the following you have does affect our community here. Like, there are people that I do not fuck with anymore because of what had happened. Right. The bandwagon jumpers, I noticed. And that was, that was caused, that was like a, that came directly from comments you didn't have to make. Let's stop sweeping stuff under the rug. Let's stop pretending like people weren't hurt, right? Mm -hmm. And and stop pretending like because we're not a fucking like millionaire or like a sponsored skater or because we don't have a following that's an, over a certain amount that our opinion doesn't matter that our feelings don't matter either. And it makes me sad for the for people that like don't know better. Yeah, that's predatory behavior. Mm-hmm. But with all that shit said, like, we also had a lot of people have our backs. And that's recognized, too. I did get a lot of kind words from people. We've been pretty polite about it. I think so. I think more than than polite, to be honest. Yeah. More than deserved, 100%. Right. Y'all really worried about this podcast that was shot on an Android phone? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Bitch! We shot season one on an Android. Bitch. Front facing camera. Front. The front camera. And y'all shooketh. That's what you worried about. That's what you worried about. Wait. That's what you worried about. (laughs) That's what you worried about. What you worried about. What's the drama? Tell me. What's new? Where you been? Where you been skating? Um, I've been a lazy skater lately. Not gonna lie. Been doing more jam skating. Went to a few meetups. Got back on ramps a little bit, but, you know, I've been, like, napping. Mm. That's what I've been doing. Keep going. I like to sleep a lot. Yeah. And um, I find sleep very healing as well. So if I'm going through something, I sleep a lot. Sleep a lot. That's why I'm so pretty still. This is my favorite time of the year to skate, to be honest. Me like, too. It's sickeningly hot as it is. Yeah. Um more daylight yep less people are on the trails and at the skate park because it's unbearable yep um but yeah i like the sun i'm happy to be skating again i'm happy that my skills are improving i'm trusting myself more so we got some fun and exciting things in the works for season two yeah some returning guests some new guests of course some new brands oh brand i know like we 
having the Harlick episode was such a like long lasting high for me. <laughs> yeah. No. That felt like a real accomplishment that episode. Yeah. And he was so sweet to us. But um we're working on an event with some friends. Yeah. Um if you're in the area, South Florida, keep an eye out. We'll be posting a flyer. We're doing an event with Tutti Frutti and Eat My Skates. Yeah. Some of fun. We're talking ice cream. We're talking all the raffles. Things. We're talking games. We're talking Best summer jam skating, park yeah. skating, everything. Snacks. Maybe snow cones. Maybe some like skate obstacle slide rails. Mm-hmm. It's giving kids birthday party. It's giving summer fun. It's giving slip and slide with a popsicle hanging out of your mouth. Yes. And sunburn. But we're going to wear SPF. But we're going to wear a sunscreen because I'm too old to be getting wrinkled. Listen. And I don't know. I think that we're trying to involve some donation opportunities within it. We're trying to find opportunities to donate to the cause of giving women access to abortions and what they need in order to handle their unexpected pregnancies and um but there's gonna be a clothing swap gear swap right gear swap i want to involve i'm gonna i have a pair of skates that i want to donate i have Mm. some safety gear i want to donate um mouth guards for roller derby if you're interested i'm donating a couple of those too um i'll be selling some merch eat my skates and tutti frutti we'll be selling some merch we're doing a tie-dye station yeah with a specialty design t-shirt for the event yeah and it's just gonna be a lot of fun and a lot of joy and i'm so excited are are you i'm so excited and i can't wait to go our our first event was really awesome our kind of oh yes it was if you were at that one it's gonna be like that but same better. but more but more more more, <laughs> more. and it, i'm i'm just so excited to to be summer fun with the friends like you know skating yeah. and it's at the park so it's you know kid it's gonna be kiddish good. friendly just yeah. as long as you know kids know how to act right don't bring your kids <laughs> don't bring your kids god damn it don't bring your kids i'm it's sorry it's an adult only event i'm sorry um, don't bring your kids your kids can go watch baseball pool There's down station snacks yeah drinks yeah special it's snow gonna cones. be just the community man coming together yeah come say hi yeah i'm proud of us yeah me too we did a lot with this i'm proud of you and all the work you put into this but it's just like you know it was a nice break but it was hard yeah it was not easy for us and i think that you know we really use that energy to fuel the show like yeah you know we're just like okay well like what can we do to make this better what will make our events better what do we want to see we need to be the change we want to see in the world (laughs) butterfly in the sky (laughs) i can go yeah. yeah, I was like, wait, 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 we take too much, we take too much. <laughs> They're going to own the whole podcast. But, you know, our hearts are in the right place, honeys. You can trust us. Yeah. We want to, just like our podcasts, our events and everything, we want it to not be about us. Mm-mm. It's about you. Because mm-hmm. we love you so much. Yeah, we love you. If you know. have any skate related or any advice questions, DM us. Maybe we'll answer your question on the show. A little Dear Abby kind of situation. Yeah. That's all the time we have for you today. If you're looking for me and you want to copy all my shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can find it at me at Rolling with Rosie. And if you need me, don't. But you can find me on Instagram at Hey Shorty with three Y's and two underscores. And if you need us, you can find us at Skate, Skate Sunday. Sunday. Rosie and Shorts. <laughs> just there's no flow none what happened just kidding no with their name <laughs> uh-